If you guys want to learn the best recording settings on OBS for the highest quality with the least amount of lag, then this is a video for you. Let's get right into it. What is going on, everybody? It's once again Oda here, bringing you guys yet again another tutorial back on OBS. Today, we're going to be talking about the best recording settings for any computer, whether you have a low end PC that's $200 or you have a NASA computer that's worth $10,000. So anyways, let's just go right into it. So of course, you're going to go over here into the settings box and we're going to get first start out here on output. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video on the best OBS settings for streaming. So if you guys want to check that out, there will be a link to that in the description of this video, or you could just go on my channel and find it. Now, since this video is on recording settings, of course, we're going to go over to the recording tab on default. It'll be on FLV. Go ahead and change that to MP4. And then right here, audio track. Most of you probably know what this is if you've been using OBS for a while, but if you don't know what this is, just select all six of the tracks and you'll be good. You won't have to worry about anything. Now for encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card like I do, go ahead and select this one, NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. That is the most up-to-date one and it's gonna give you the best performance and quality. If you have an AMD graphics card, pick the AMD encoder. I'm not sure what it's called, but you'll know it when you see it. And now we're gonna go down here to rate control. So click on this drop down menu. It's probably gonna be on CBR. But go ahead and change it to CQP. And then for CQ level, put it on one. That'll give you the best quality. Keyframe interval, you always want to have this on two, no matter what. Keyframe interval, you want to have that two. Now for preset, go ahead and select max quality. That's going to give you, of course, the best quality. Profile, you always want to have that to high. Have look ahead unchecked. Psycho visual tuning checked. For GPU, change this to zero. And for max B frames, by default, it's on two but we're gonna go ahead and change that to one. And once you've done that, go up here and click on audio. And you wanna go through all these tracks and have them all on 320 bit rate. And now that we're done with the output tab, we're gonna go over here to the video tab and basically just copy the settings like I have them here. So base canvas resolution, have that to your monitor's resolution. Uh, output scaled, you wanna have that to the same thing as your base resolution. So most of the time it'll look like this. Downscale filter, always gonna have that to length sauce. And change this to 60 or 30 whatever fps you want to stream at i recommend 60 but it's up to you when you're here all of these should be on the default settings except this one right here process priority it'll be on normal but you're going to want to change that to above normal so once you're done with all that go down here click apply and then click ok and that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching this video if this did help you out be sure to leave a like and subscribe turn on notifications comment do all that good stuff if you guys have any questions just comment down below i will respond to you very quickly or if you have any video recommendations just leave them down below i'll be happy to read it but yeah thank you guys so much i will see you all in my next video peace out everybody